Okay, uh, good day everyone. Uh, I hope you are doing well. So today I'm going to talk about uh, Wikidata gadgets that are uh, used in Wikipedia and uh, the tools we need uh, to edit the data in Wikipedia in the Wikidata uh, on Wikipedia platform. So uh, obviously we know a lot of gadgets in different Wiki projects, right? For example, on Wikipedia or uh, Wikiversity or Wikisource and etc. But uh, we have internal gadgets only, like uh, Wikipedia has its own gadgets and Wikidata has its own gadgets as well. Uh, but for uh, some gadgets, uh, they can work, uh, they can interact with other projects as well. Uh, so today I'm going to show you some, uh, some, let's say, three gadgets that are very powerful in order to interact with Wikidata on Wikipedia. Uh, so the first gadget I'm going to talk about is WE Framework. It is uh, it's about editing Wikipedia, Wikidata Editor uh, Framework. So it allows the users to edit Wikida Wikidata without even entering uh, the Wikidata page, like the Q element we are talking about. And we can edit uh, administrative entities and people's persons, um, data. Uh, books, journals, uh, legal legal acts, movies, uh, software, taxon, and etc. And it can be applied uh, across uh, all wiki platforms in just a single line of code. And we'll have to install this code on our meta wiki. Then it will be applied across all wiki projects. So let me demonstrate that to you. Uh, I'll provide the presentation so uh, you'll be able to see the links. So, first of all, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll open the main page. It's on Russian Wikipedia. The developer is VL Sergey. So, uh, it has a documentation that you will read and uh, be able to see how it, how it is installed. So, as you can see, there is a heading on how to enable for, your, uh, for yourself on every wiki. So, you just have to copy this code. Oh, I'm not logged in, that's why it's, it's showing an error. So okay, that's my global JS. I'm using SVG editor online, which is a very helpful tool, by the way. And also, I have already installed WE framework. You just have to open, uh, click the link, and it will, it will automatically change your user page. And you just have to paste the code. I have added a comment here. It's, it doesn't uh, really matter. And when you have this code, you'll be able to edit uh, Wikidata on every Wikipedia page without, uh, without even having to open the Q element. Let me demonstrate that. So, for instance, I'm going to open uh, a random article uh, on Wikipedia, and there will be a box on the left-hand side, and uh, you'll see the links there. Okay, we have the Wikidata edit section on the left hand side. So we have to choose the topic and it will automatically highlight the topics which are close to the subject, right? For example, I'm, uh, I have opened uh, a page which is about a movie and it has automatically uh, made the movie section a bit bolder. So when you click that button, you'll be able to change the items. Uh, I'm using the old uh, Wikipedia skin 
uh, which was developed around 2010, and that's why uh, it's a bit, it does look a bit older. But uh, when you click the movie button, you'll be able to see all Wikidata values here, and you can change them in just a single click. For instance, I'm going to delete one of them and add uh, by hand, okay, manually. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to delete the country of origin, which is Mansha el in Azerbaijan language, and insert it again. Okay, it asks whether to delete or not. I'm going to click yes. And just click save. It's going gonna, it's gonna to save on Wikidata as well. So let's check the Wikidata element. Okay, when you look at the history, you'll be able to see the, how the item has changed. It will automatically show the gadgets as well. Okay, it shows that updated item via WE framework gadget from Azerbaijan Wikipedia. So when you click the difference, you will be able to see that I have deleted the property. Okay, comparing the revisions, okay, I've removed the country of origin. So I can add it again. It was just uh, for the demonstration purposes. Okay, it's going to get the values again, and I can... Paste the country of origin here as well. Q17, which is the which is the Wikidata item for Japan, and when you click save, it's gonna update the item. So you can change many many things uh, using this gadget. For example, you can uh, edit IDs, uh, identifiers. Uh, you can uh, add properties, you can add uh, different uh, interesting qualifiers, and that's, that's a very helpful and hand, handy gadget to have your, on your Wikipedia. Uh, you can install it for yourself, or you can import uh, globally for your Wikipedia as well. Just open common.js and import the script there, it's going to work for everyone. Okay, that was our very first gadget. Then I'm going to move to the second one. Please. Can yeah. I say one more thing about yeah. this? Yeah, please. Um, just before, before we move on to the next uh, gadget, this gadget is also very useful when you have created a new... Uh, article in your language that isn't covered yet on any other language, so yeah. you need to create the Wikidata item for it, and it's empty. This gadget can help because after you've created the item, you can update it from Wikipedia, from the article you just created with all the facts, and the gadget prompts you, reminds you of what kinds of fields you are relevant. Yeah. So it's a very useful uh, flow for new items as well. Yeah, one drawback is that uh, you don't have... Um, scripts for every notion. For example, you don't have a script for cars or other things. You have only movie, person, software, and etc. And that's the only drawback. And uh, VL Surge is still working on the gadgets. Uh, on the gadget, it, the, the last update was around March. March, and he's very active on that. Yeah. Okay, this gadget should be uh, in your uh, must-have list, let's say. Okay, WE framework, and after that, I want to talk about the Wikidata Infobox Expert. So this gadget, uh, okay, this gadget is very, very interesting one, and it is only used on uh, Russian Wikipedia, if on Armenian Wikipedia, if I'm not mistaken, and also an Azerbaijan Wikipedia. No other Wikipedia um, project use that. So it helps uh, you to export data on info boxes within a few clicks. So how does it work? I'm going to explain the details. And it gets activated when the Wikipedia article is linked to a relevant Wikidata uh, item. And also uh, when the template supports the Wikidata system. 
Okay? Uh, and if your uh, article is connected to the Wikidata item, but it does not support Wikidata, it will not work. And it can support various data, data types, for instance, uh, uh, integers, uh, strings, and etc. It's also smart enough to look for qualifiers, and it can export references as well. Uh, when you have a population, P1082 for population property on Wikidata, it can also export the date, right? Date of um, cons uh, census, let's say. Okay, let's try this gadget. I'm, I'm going to explain the details how to install this on your Wikipedia as well. I have already uh, opened two articles a few minutes ago when I was sitting here. Okay, as you can see on the template, we have uh, different colors, right? It shows in red and uh, yellow, respectively. So the red means that value, that uh, property, or that statement is not uh, created on Wikidata. So you can double click that and it will automatically send that value um, to your respective uh, Wikidata item. And the yellow means that you have only one or two values, but this uh, template has an extra value that you can import. So let's try it. When you double click that, it will load. Uh, it's a new OOUG, uh, OOU skin, by the way. It's very contemporary. Okay, it will ask you whether to export the data on the Wikipedia, uh, Wikidata or not. So uh, I've chosen that, and I'm going to click export. I've already translated, and I'll, I have included uh, the documentation page on how to translate. Uh, I interna internationalization page on how to translate that as well. Okay, when I click Ikhrajet, which is export in Azerbaijan language, okay, it shows that the value has been exported uh, to Wikidata, Wikidata successfully. So let's check that. Okay, when I uh, when I'm on Wikidata, I can check whether the uh, value, value has been exported or not. Okay, when I click uh, View History, okay, I can see that it shows a tag, which gadget ha I have used, right? Infobox Expert, right here. And also, uh, it shows whether I created the, uh, the property, the value, or not. Okay, and one interesting fact uh, is that it can also export references as well. It shows from which Wikipedia it has been exported, right? When you compare the revisions, you can see this um, value has been exported from Azerbaijan Wikipedia, and it shows the ID number of your of the page, right? Okay, how about, oh, okay, it's now gone because I have exported that. How about the yellow one? As I can see, it, uh, it's definitely, it means place of burial in Azerbaijan language. Uh, so when you check the respective Wikidata item, you will be able to see uh, that one value is already there, but it has also one additional one, so you can export that one as well. Okay, I'm gonna check the place of place of burial. Okay, it's Istanbul, right? But it shows our, on our Wikipedia there are more precise places that we can replace them. Okay, when I double click it, oh, you can export Yeni Masjid, which is located in Valida Turkan Turbesi, if I'm not mistaken, right? When you click export. It will add the second value. Okay, it has been successfully exported. And after refreshing page, 
Okay, I can now remove Istanbul because it's not a precise place of burial, right? Istanbul is a very big city. So you can remove this uh, value from here. Yeah, manually or using WEF, right? It's also working here, there. Okay, now I have uh, export a value without even uh, clicking a, uh, without even going to uh, the Wikidata item. Okay, it has uh, exported the reference as well. So okay, uh, as I mentioned before, it can also export uh, other data types as well. For example, this time I'm gonna export a, an integer which has a qualifier as well. So, as you can see, the Sahasi uh, section, which means the area, uh, has a interesting symbol before it, right? It means approximately. When you double click it, okay, it will automatically show that uh, this, uh, this uh, peninsula, Greenwich Peninsula, takes up 1.35 uh, square kilometers and it adds the pre uh, precision of the source as well. It's approximately. And when you click the export button, it will automatically add the qualifier as well, which shows that the data is, approx is an approximate data. Okay, when we take a look at, uh, sorry, area, okay. It has also exported sourcing circumstances, which is circa, right? On Azerbaijan Wikipedia, it was, it was an approximate number. And it also exports the square kilometer as well. So you can configure the gadget on your Wikipedia, but it's a bit complicated, and I can help you with installing that, because you have to install the modules, you have to add up your um, templates according to the Wikidata system, and etc. Okay, I have included a, a demonstration on on my presentation here. It's a small presentation because most of them were were about practice, right? Hack activation. You have to install this gadget on your local Wikipedia. If you're an inter interface editor, you can just copy paste the code. And after that, you have to add the translations, which are on Wikimedia Commons. And this gadget, by the way, was developed by Putnik, uh, who's a very famous uh, developer on Russian Wikipedia. And he will uh, automatically update the gadget, and uh, he will include uh, your language on the uh, script as well. So you have to, then you have to activate them in your templates uh, after installing the certain um, modules, which are a bit complicated, but I can help you with that. And, after, and you have to define the properties, right? For example, uh, this is a template structure, a, gen, a general one, and it uses a Wikidata system. Uh, for the text, I have included Dogmiri, which is a birth of place, and for uh, for the value, I have imported, I have um, added the value. It's P19, right? It's for it's a, a birth place property. Or I can change it in a modern way, which will be activated by modules and stimulate and add classes and etc. It will automatically. Um, defined by the, uh, by the script and it will automatically export that way. And other must-haves. So, uh, as an extra, I have to show you a new, not new, but uh, it's a very commonly used uh, extension for Google Chrome that you can uh, install it and you can see the Wikidata on Wikipedia without even having to open that uh, Wikidata item. Okay, uh, no, it does not show, unfortunately. I'm going to Google that. Okay, open up Google Chrome Store and search for Wikidata. Okay. You can uh, install the second extension for your browser and click Add to Chrome. 
There are only two reviews about this extension, but uh, it's a very handy one. That's why, okay, it has now been uh, installed on, on our browser. So open up a random page. <laughs> Okay, as you can see, it, its color has, has changed, right? When you click that, okay, let's click X. Okay, my computer system is in Russian, Russian, so that's why it's it shows a Russian version of Wikidata. But you can see the Wikidata uh, when clicking this extension. Okay, so, and you can use a lot of things, for example, add a statement, reload data, but they do not uh, work perfectly, but I highly recommend you to use other two, other ones like WEF uh, Framework and also Wikidata Infobox Expert. And uh, they both were developed by Russians, but uh, I would be glad to help you install on your Wikipedia as well. So thank you. Uh, it was a bit small, but... Uh, handy presentation. Useful. Yeah, useful one. Thank you. So, if you have any questions, I would be glad to answer that. So, no questions? Okay. Thanks. Adira, Cevaba, siz Azerbaycan Wikipedia'sında Wikileştirici gazetesi yaratmışsınız. O gazetesi Wikidata'da istifade edebilirik. Biz Latin elifasından kiril elifasından geçerken yaşadığımız problemleri veya da kiril elifasından da... We have some problems between this Azerbaijani language, which is Latinic, and our Russian language, which is Cyrillic alphabet. So we have some problems. Um, can you explain us about the gadget, which can help? But I have added a certain regular expression codes there in order to replace some words and uh, correct them. So, unfortunately, it is not available on the Wikidata because Wikidata does not have text, right? It's only values and um, the links to other properties, to other uh, items. So, therefore, it's, it, it's impossible to use that on Wikidata. But uh, you can install them on your local one, and you just have to change the regular expression codes there, which, was, uh, which is in JavaScript and then you'll be able to change whatever you want. So in just a uh, click of button, but it was irrelevant to Wikidata, so that's why I did not demonstrate that um, code, that gadget. Thank you.